in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. I I want to thank Pastor Shola sincerely again for this privilege and this opportunity. I want to thank the fathers of faith here. Um, Apostle Achidume, God bless you and honor you, sir. Our daddy, God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. I also want to celebrate and truly honor every man and every woman of God here anytime you see a man of god who loves jesus and serves him truly they are deserving of your honor it takes a lot to say yes yes means many no's no to many many things hallelujah while standing before we sit I want us to know that when we gather like this it is more than just gathering to honor the presence of a man hallelujah it is important for us to be intentional in our understanding that when the glory of God rests upon his people many things happen within the atmosphere of that glory principally the revelation of Jesus but then in addition to healings miracles by the way where is the lady that had her child come please when you find her I don't know when you find her let her come hallelujah and then I want you to listen very carefully one of the greatest blessings of a prophetic and a miracle service like this as far as i am concerned that's all right if, if she's not if she's not um within um hallelujah okay when you find her please give her the allowance to come now please listen every time i have the privilege of ministering to god's people like this more than receiving the miracles my greatest my greatest assignment is to expose God's people to that atmosphere of his glory because when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when your glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. of God is a definition of his weightiness his entirety every component that makes him God his wisdom his power his favor when you expose people to the atmosphere of his glory they never live the same some of them will live with wisdom or heightened wisdom some of them will live with favor some of them will live with all kinds of miracles when the rod was placed in an atmosphere of that glory even though it didn't have root to the earth it bordered in 24 hours when the glory comes there'll be no words to say 
conference many of you have endured making sacrifices from one speaker after another one vessel after another some of you may have been around for the past six years of the ABM some of you a few of the years some of you this is your first night now let me tell you the possibilities that you receive in an atmosphere of God's glory does not depend on his love alone neither does it even depend on his will it depends on the sincerity of your hunger and your recognition for God can be in a place and you do not know covered by pride maybe covered by carelessness maybe are we together covered by all kinds of factors it takes admitting that when God comes in the midst of his people there is always something to see there is always something to get there is always something to receive among the many things that God does to his people is to grant them access to his glory. Moses said, show me your glory. And God did not reject the request. That means he desires that his glory be seen. We are going to pray for 10 minutes from my time. Hallelujah. It's a miracle service. We'll take some time to pray. And there is prayer that is for edification. There is prayer that is for warfare and supplication there is prayer that is for intercession as many compartments as far as the administration of it is concerned but the prayer we are praying for the next 10 minutes is to enlarge our capacity in the spirit 10 minutes is not all the time you need but with respect to this atmosphere i did tell us in the morning it is a waste to pour anything from heaven upon a vessel that is closed or a vessel that is small these are the two conditions of vessels that make any investment on them a total waste a vessel that is close no matter how large cannot receive a vessel that is small no matter how willing cannot receive more than its capacity hallelujah so I like you right where you are to begin to pray in the spirit I like you to see your ministry as you are praying stepping into another level I like you to see the mandate God has placed upon your life stepping into another level whether you are at the back whether you are in front it does not matter I like you to see your music ministry being part of the cutting edge tools that God will use in this end time I like you to see the prophetic mandate that is upon your life that perhaps is at his infancy fanned to flames to dimensions where it can serve the purposes of God across nations someone is praying Please pray, just a few minutes in the spirit. 
I'd like you to see your bishopric as far as the end time program of God is concerned being secured and preserved by your passion and determination Seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, every sin and every weight, and then to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. In the name of Jesus 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 now please listen before you sit down the Lord just opened my eyes to see something don't sing but as I raise the song please bring all the people out under the anointing God is doing something very very mighty you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are awesome, so awesome in your ways. Just bring them out under the anointing. You are powerful. So powerful in your ways. Oh, that's that our woman. Just a moment. You are powerful. So powerful in your ways. There is a spirit of glory that is resting upon people. Your ministry and your life will not be the same. Not this night.
Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Dear prophet of God, there is a clarion call upon your destiny. Yahweh, Yahweh. You are glorious, Shalabada Gata Fresca de Balagatos, Cabrande Cabarato, Sadia da Balada Balada. You are mighty, so mighty in your ways. There is an ignition of fire. You'll be seated shortly, but this is what God is doing, and this is the instruction He gave me. Young and old alike, it's an outpouring of the Spirit upon you. You are powerful so powerful in your ways you are powerful powerful so powerful in your ways oil is being poured upon the destinies of men not just their heads the destinies of men you are powerful please bring them out so powerful in your ways you are mighty, so mighty in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. Shall I get there? Oh. Oh, 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 Shalaka <laughs> I'm hearing the word selected and appointed for a time as this. There are people you have been selected by God. That unction is coming upon you right now. Selected for your families. Selected for your regions. Some you've seen it in dreams. Others in visions. But this is a night. Here in Abel Kuta, that mantle of your destiny is locating you. Bring them out. Hey, Shaneke Skadiata. Selected and appointed. For a time as this, others for a generation, others the Josephs of the family. Young and old, male or female, the spirit of grace, selected and appointed. There are people, there are mantles upon you. You do not even know God is bringing you out by His Spirit. Rapa kata pasha la barande sebele katusiata. Shabrande ke bereke tuskati brande ke badiata. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. Hear me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people here. A spiritual season is coming to an end in your life. And another one is opening up. 
it, it's a new level of grace and a new level of fire for some you are ministers of the gospel God brought you here because Abata Shadabata there is a dimension of grace ministers of the gospel I'm hearing this particularly for preachers people who are ministers of the gospel the mantle that has been looking for you I direct it to you I direct it to you male and female access that mantle in the name of Jesus access that mantle by the power that raised Christ from the dead Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. When we call people out like this, it is not just for show, just to see people littered on the ground. No. There is something that God is doing. I stretch my hands towards all those in front in the name of Jesus the levels in the spirit that you should enter for the sake of your destiny and your assignment we command vistas to be open now by apostolic authority I decree in the name of Jesus in the name that is above all names I call upon he who has the key of David may that new realm and dimension be open for you in the name of Jesus let it be open for you let it be open for you in jesus name now hear me please please as much as those who can go back to their seats in front i want them to go because i want to make another call please sit down if you can please sit down if you can be very sensitive whether i saw so many people at the back doesn't matter which you know whether you are at the the, um, the canopy or any other place i want you to be very sensitive i had a brief time of prayer there is another set of people i'm going to ask to come out those if, if they cannot stand up just leave them please don't force them now listen please one of the mantles that god is restoring in this conference i had a vision and it was the vision of the transfiguration and i saw moses and elijah there are two types of the prophetic the prophetic ministry that will be activated in this end time moses was a prophet elijah was a prophet but the administration of their offices were not the same are we together all of them were mandated to preserve the purposes of god in a generation elijah preserved from jezebel and ahab Moses preserved from Pharaoh and all of them required signs and wonders it was a mantle and a rod that helped them to preserve the purposes of God God is restoring an ancient prophetic heritage please hear me I'm speaking to you by the spirit many grandfathers some of you come from physical paternal families that carry the heritage of the prophetic but because you are dull of seeing and your ears do not hear they just told you a story that your grandfather was part of those who would visit these men at the campground and you have been having visions of these experiences one of the mandates tonight is to stir up particularly this prophetic dimension again we need it not just for show don't be afraid of the prophetic because of the little abuses here there is going to be a steering, a steering of that prophetic mantle. For some of you, that mantle has been hovering around whole families and everybody has rejected it. Everybody has rejected it. I pray that you are not the one to reject it tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray. The moment I make this call my apologies if, if I don't have the time to teach it's a miracle service healing is something we can do in 10 minutes these are superior levels of spiritual activations that strengthen God's people and make the program of God efficient for those people 
I want you by the anointing to bring them out right now. There is a restoration of the prophetic. God wants to have these prophetic representations across families and regions. Oh, I stretch my hands right now upon everyone that has been assigned in God's program and prophetic schedule to carry this mantle whether you are aware or not at the count of three in the name that is above all names whether you are seated or standing may that mantle search you out right now I release that grace carry that mantle right now male and female bring them out preachers businessmen that mantle of the prophetic in the order of Moses and Elijah coming upon your life please help that lady some of you have been faithful in certain seasons God has subjected you through certain seasons and you have been faithful now a new order of grace that prophetic only the prophetic that's what God is ministering to people on now I stretch my hands yet again from the back to the front there may be someone no one is seeing you but the all-seeing eye of the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may that grace find you right now please bring them out may that grace find you right now may that grace find you right now David was in the wilderness and the anointing still found him Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Father, all of these prophetic graces you are staring, in the name of Jesus I pray that they will go through the seasons of training faithfully and they will find their place in your prophetic program. I activate those graces now. I activate those graces now. The seeing eye and the hearing ear. I activate those graces now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I activate those graces now. When Joel stood in Acts, in, when Peter stood in Acts chapter 2, he said, This is that which was prophesied by Joel the prophet that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh not some all flesh hallelujah the spirit of prayer and intercession as a mantle is coming on certain people right now father i don't know where these people are but in the name of jesus as touching your program not only in abel Kuta, not only in the southwest but even 
in partnership with what you are doing across the globe may that mantle of prayer and prophetic intercession let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you let it rest upon you now not just young people even elderly people you will see mothers in their 50s 60s 70s traveling for hours by the energy of the spirit in the name of jesus christ the spirit of prayer and intercession is resting upon you right where you are because you need to build capacity for that which God is committing to your life and your destiny. My last prayer for this session, please listen carefully. I'm only ministering as the Spirit of God is ministering to me. There are many of you that are going to be delivered right now from the spirit of error please hear me there is the spirit of error the spirit of error only activate is activated when it finds zeal you can have zeal but the spirit of error can lead a man into something that may seem to have a semblance of godliness but you will later find that whether it's your prophetic pursuit whether it's ministerial pursuit there is a path the bible says a way that seemeth right unto a man unto a man of God unto a prophet unto an apostle in the name of Jesus any man any church any prayer group any platform that is under attack from the spirit of error I decree and declare right now in this crusade I command that spirit and that influence to live your destiny now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the last days some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. There are people today whose entire spiritual construct was founded on spirits of error. It does not mean the people are bad. You can have a vision. Many people's lives have been confused today because of spirits that carry a semblance of the Holy Spirit and give mandates and assignments. The more you are obedient to that mandate, the more it is misleading you and others. There is no righteousness and there is no green pasture in that kind of obedience I'm praying again false dreams lying visions go and read it in the Bible Peter thought he was under the influence of the Spirit of God when he was trying to rebuke Jesus from dying and Jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me Satan for Peter Satan has desired to sift you like wheat, he said. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. He says, and when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. There are many of you, the prophetic inclinations you are delving into. You may delve from a sincere heart, but it's not being sponsored by the Spirit of God. Including a semblance of healing mantles. There are people who have gone to fast and pray and came back with experiences that carry a semblance of spirituality but when we gauge them against the integrity of God's word we find it wanting on many counts again I'm praying the spirit of error that is creeping into your Bible study life creeping into your prayer life taking advantage of your zeal and hunger for God and for spiritual things I command that devil of error to leave you now. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. God bless you.
Please be seated. God bless you. These are the kinds of meetings that make people and preserve the program of God for the next 10, 20, 30 years if Christ tarries. Let me charge our hearts. Tonight as I'm speaking, the Holy Ghost is going to be giving people specific instructions about your own life and about your own ministry. Please make sure your ears are open to hear both. As you are hearing this man of God speak, in the midst of the things I'm saying, the Spirit of God is also going to be speaking. I wish I had a little fan around me. I'm sweating up and down. Please, if you can find a fan for me, just to help encourage me while I'm here. May God bless you. Even if it's from a distance, don't, don't, um, please make sure that you don't take from that which is on our fathers yes anywhere just something to help thank you sir but what happens to them now please let's let's hallelujah tonight I want to charge our hearts finally and then we'll pray you have received many things in the course of this conference thank you I think this is fine if this becomes too close, it will affect the sound quality. So that's fine. You can return it back. This is fine. Maybe you can replace that one there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. I had the name Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. You are wearing... You are wearing a headgear that is like um, baby pink. Rebecca. Rebecca. Is there someone like that? No, let. Please verify. Come. What's your name? No, let them come up. I will just speak over your life. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. I'm stretching my hands towards you. Yet the person the power of God is falling on is right in the crowd there. Please bring that person. The power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw oil coming on one of you now. When that happens, then I will speak over the rest. But among you people, the power of God is coming on one person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new season and there is a deliverer that is arising. I had that name, Rebecca. Every weakness in the name of Jesus, of the flesh, that is not giving you room to access spiritual things. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free right now what he says to one he says to all be set free right now be set free right now Abiodun who is Abiodun Abiodun please don't come out carelessly just because let's make sure so we don't make this place rowdy Abiodun not your father's name your name Abiodu. Hallelujah. Now listen, this is serious. Please hear me. I saw light just leave God's servant, Pastor Shola, up. And then it was just roaming around. And it, it is looking for somebody with the same name. Your name is Olu Shola. Is it Olu Shola? Or something like is there some is there, is that it in it or is it olu or, or, or deshola or something like that i know there is shola in the name i saw that light just went up and like hovering around because there will be a replica of this kind of abel kuta believers meeting 
beginning from this year god is going to start it will be in other parts of abel kuta believe me it may not be called abm but an anointing this night is coming on people with mandates you will go to regions and start putting together meetings like this that will start filing god's army for the next season and i'm saying this because some of you even as pastors as a ministerial couple that mandate will come upon you and god will say i'm trusting you with my program for other regions that may not be able to make it in this meeting my goodness all these gentle what's your name sir Olushola. What do you do, this gentleman? Fashion you, designer. Fashion, huh? des fashion designer. You are a fashion designer. Yes, sir. Because I am seeing the grace that was on Stephen, that he started with serving tables, but he ended up being a mighty person. You may be a fashion designer, but what? unable to rise to fulfill their prophetic potential when you find that person please let me know but let me pray for these ones father in the name of Jesus I pray for these people who have come out here by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that represents a limitation over your life and destiny I command that it gives way now I command that it gives way now in the name of Jesus Amen. for someone you had a dream and in that dream you were instructed to fast for three days and you have dishonored that dream there is a revelation that is connected to that spiritual exercise you see when God speaks it's important to obtain grace to obey are we together now this is what God is revealing to me three days to separate yourself Bishop Oedipo said it was during three days he was fasting and praying and light from scripture entered into him and a revelation came that set the ministry up who is that person you are the gentleman fasting you believe in God so let me I'm going to pray for you for grace hallelujah I hope you know that gluttony is a spirit it's not just a habit there is a spirit that even if when you are not fasting you can stay till seven o'clock and not remember you have eaten but the moment you declare fasting please don't come out randomly by eight o'clock even if it's even if it's um uh, what do they call it tom tom 
your spirit will not rest you want to open that tom-tom and put it in your mouth it's not about quenching hunger it's a demonic spirit the ability to tame your appetite for food is an expression of your ability to tame many other things because food is the most obvious that you can see are we together let's honor our fathers let's honor <laughs> hallelujah for these gentlemen in the name of jesus i pray that the hand of god will come upon you my friend i want you to obey god eh? obey god if god has told you and given you that instruction then obey him that grace comes upon you in the name of jesus and for all of you abiodun i command the limitations over your life let it drop from this night in the mighty name of jesus god bless you please return to your seat where are these mothers all of you help them please god bless you sir now listen i hope you see what god is doing in this place these are mothers who are standing in for their children it's not enough to succeed according to succeed as a person until the person who comes out of you The man who would be used by God to defeat the Gideon, the, the, the Midianites, he was hiding in fear, the least of the father's house, in the name of for your children. And we use them as points of contact. Whatever has made you cry in your lifetime, before you see the face of God, I'm using them as a point of contact to pray for any parent here. Please listen. You don't have to kneel, Mama. Please just stand except if you want to but in the name of jesus christ any parent here who has a child that has brought you pain brought you trouble you are sitting peacefully they call you from a police station and say your child is at it again it is any child you see who is misbehaving just believe me there is a prophetic destiny on that child there is something that makes satan to zoom his attention there and if you don't have a child that is grown to that extent don't say it does not matter don't wait till it happens send a prayer cover to preserve them and say my child will not be the reason for my death in the name of jesus lift your voice in one minute and let's pray father we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit they sang the song here that our generation will praise your name he said my son Pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my saying. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He says, your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said, they are life to those who find them. And health to their flesh. Let's pray for our children. Let the spirit of responsibility come upon the young men. And the young ladies. Let the spirit of laziness and entitlement You are my hiding place You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you Hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ my mother lord has visited all of you you will return with your testimonies in jesus name i don't know why god has chosen to go this direction but please let's walk with humility and honor him i'm hearing in my spirit that we should pray for all the schools including secondary schools there is an intentional plot by satan please hear me everyone destroying nations today was once a baby he was once a child satan grew with a generation today that is vocally and institutionally rejecting god we have to change that narrative don't be tired though it's a miracle service those of you who own schools the only thing you are, you are, that you should be looking for should not be increment in school fees and technical knowledge for god's sake restore the values of the kingdom this is not about fanatism hallelujah you go to some of our schools 
you will be shocked to tears to know what some of these children know hallelujah they will watch you as an adult and be looking at your ignorance even in adulthood because they have been exposed to evil in the fullness of his strength and some of them have the destinies of deliverers in one minute if you love Abel Kuta and you love your children and your program I want you to cry to the God of heaven visit our schools from the primary schools to the secondary school someone is praying someone is praying pray for every teacher pray for every proprietor proprietress director this is where the ministry of intercession comes Lord we will not lose our children there is a generation that is rising to be greater than us greater in power greater in revelation greater in character greater in encounters the devil will not destroy them in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and hear me by this mandate for someone you are sitting and God is saying you had the man of God it's time for your school to come on board because there are children who have been apportioned connected to your grace apostle where will I get the money from the one you got now where did it come from is the same Lord that shows mercy if you are waiting for things to be in place you will never do anything worthwhile for the kingdom hallelujah please be seated where is the woman who received the miracle let's celebrate what God has done look at this 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 how long sir four years sir you were here in Abel Kuta believers ABM last year yes yeah you called us out in prophecy that there is a woman here she's been waiting upon the Lord for four years and when we came out you told my wife that I'm seeing your husband standing beside you and after then you called me how to you are saying hold, yes you can remember oh hold, hold your wife I want to ah, pray daddy can also remember hold your wife, I want to pray with you and you prayed with us and after November, I waited and December came. God led us here again to come and have three yes. days fasting and prayer uh, to receive the word because there is no Christianity without responsibility. That's right. So we came here and God opened us up. In three days, God told me to make a sacrifice. I did. And God showed me the book of Samuel, First Samuel the story of Anna yes. and God told me that the prophet has played his part that is what Samuel did he said your wife has played his part you both will play your part and the last thing that God told me was that and the Lord remembered Anna and we pray for that all through and those four things fired into my spirit and we pray for those four things you play your role we play our role and God played his role to God a Lord be the glory hallelujah look at this listen listen do you know why I decided to ask them to come out there is something that happens to you when the word becomes flesh It's one thing to hear the Bible says in Acts chapter 8 it says verse 5 that Philip went down to Samaria and there he preached Christ unto them then the next verse says the people in one accord they gave heed to the things that he spake seeing hearing and seeing the miracles which he did hearing and seeing look at this everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb come out mama please come up here If you are not married go back please except if you are standing for someone if you are trusting God whereas we are responsible people so let me say it up front this this world today needs clarification over everything you have to keep explaining and explaining let's celebrate them as they come
Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? Creator of say. What can't you do? Hold on. Why are this many people coming out? For yourselves? For your loved ones? Okay, this is what will happen. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, please. I'm going, if you are coming out for any other person, just wait where you are. You don't have to come out. If not, we'll crowd this place. Remember, we need to finish on time. Hallelujah. Now, here's what will happen. I decree and declare that God will give you your own testimony. But now, may I request those who are standing for themselves, please remain. And then for the rest, go back rejoicing. Please, please, let's just obey instructions as God will grant us grace. You can't receive in disobedience in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are standing for someone, don't worry, just go back and trust God for a miracle. Remember the centurion, he said, you don't need to come to my house, speak the word only. This one is because God has instructed. Now, let me tell you the truth. Please hear me. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of living in the reality of these kinds of miracles in the lives of people across the globe and i say this with humility i can tell you the truth i understand something small about the miracle of fruitfulness i may not know everything but there are some things that i understand i'm going to pray for you and i want you to believe god and open up your heart i'm joining my faith with every man of god that corporate grace were agreeing as the vessels of god that everything that has brought reproach to you hallelujah here is the word that i want to declare unto you genesis 21 verse 1 the bible says and god visited sarah as he had said and god did unto sarah as he has commanded in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands right now the spirit, I want to rebuke the spirit first. Mama, just be patient. I'm going to bless this our beautiful baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, every spirit that is responsible for barrenness, responsible for any kind of demonic thing, I stand as one sent and in the company of men and women of God. Go now! Go now! Go now! now every womb that has been closed in the name of Jesus we command that womb to be open now regardless what the medical situation is madam the power of God is coming on you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree by this time next year may the Lord honor you with this same testimony For some of you, for the years you have waited, it's not only one child you will have. May God give you twins and even triplets. Help her please. Twins and triplets in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. And I decree and declare every covenant that binds you with unfruitfulness because the bible says having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete i stand by the authority and integrity of the word and i decree and declare over you in the name of jesus for the bible declares that even the lawful captive shall be delivered i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaketh better things than the blood of abel be released from prohibitions that come from ancestry be released from prohibitions that come from bloodline ill speakings of men in the name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus Christ praise the name of the Lord we declare that it is done in Jesus name please return to your seats rejoicing hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for 
us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season. It is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.